Damn guy away. Get cracking. Oh, get away, drums. This is a. Uh, this is the. Uh, <laughs> just trip you. Did you start everything up? Or did, was there, it was already. Oh, that's good. Yeah, there we go. Yep. Sure, absolutely. All right, cool. Yeah, we'll actually, uh, we have a bit of a surprise. All right, there we go. This is a, uh, a special voice actor of Doom. Hello, everyone. Hey. you'll like it, especially Chaos. It's only, it's only on Chaos. How are you guys? Good to meet you. Having fun? Yeah. How many of these have you been to today? E3? Well, I mean, like, demos. Oh, oh. Yeah. Uh, one. One. Just one? This is the special one. Just this one. Yeah. Just for me. Just for you. Wow. <laughs> I feel like everyone should get a free Chaos. <laughs> All right. That's yeah. enough. Oh. Oh. Thank you. 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 Troy and I may be a little rusty. We've been running around all day, but we're gonna get through it together. Yeah, right. We're gonna have fun. All right. So what we want to show you guys, you guys have all seen the reveal event. You're either there or you saw the videos, right? Right. right. Well, what we want to do is kind of start it off a little bit of a refresher, do a capture moment for you guys, really get the feel of the audio. It's tough to you know gauge it at the reveal event or watching the videos. You really want to be in the room with it. So we're gonna start off by actually just capturing a villain. And so we're going to track down and fight the Shred Knot. So because Troy's playing a snapshot, he's a, a, a Trap Master. And so the Trap Masters will actually get a damage boost against all of the most wanted, you know, trappable villains in the game. So it makes that fight pretty easy. Treadnought defeated. So now Troy's going to be able to trap him. Who did yeah, Tech Trap on the portal to trap <laughs> oh, the I love hearing their voices, so we'll now do that too. we do it, Troll 2. Just play it cool, Troll 1, like me. And now we'll use the Tech Trap. This is it, Troll 1. Remember me as a hero! Yeah. <laughs> I'm so crafting here. I can't even tell which draw I am. You're tall one. I think. <laughs> Shred not trapped. Wow. Well, I'm now fighting like I am tall two. You will find me on the winning side for a change. And so one of the things that you probably saw, and you can see right here, is the lip sync lighted. And so that's underneath the base, really flashing through the crystal itself, the tritanium, to make it really look like you've actually just captured the villain and there's something alive in there. And so now Troy can play as the Shred Knot, which is a big lumbering, you know, lumberjack tank driven by two trolls, Troll 1 and Troll 2. And so he's a really great, you know, villain to use against, you know, these melee and kind of all these guys rushing him. And so now what we're going to do, we can actually pause it, Troy. We're going to switch over. We can find the three dimensions. All right, I got it. Thank you. All right, so now we're going to switch over. I believe it's on this channel. We actually have two games running, so give me a sec, make sure we're on the right one. Actually, I think we are. Yeah, I got this one. Nope. Apologies, guys. Someone took the. Oh, there's a the remote. Oh, this here. Yeah, thank you. We do this so you guys normally don't have to wait. <laughs> I can do a jaunty dance for you all. There you go. Yeah. 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 There we go. Everyone loves Troy when he's dancing. <laughs> but of course. All right, here we go. And so our second level that we're showing is what you guys may have seen downstairs. It's our hands-on area. This is the secret sewers of Supreme Stink. It's an official title. It's wow. very. Very specific, uh, but what we're playing is right here. This is 
Food Fight. You guys might be familiar with them. So him and Snapshot are the two starter pack Skylanders that you'll get. But we're not here just about Skylanders. We want to talk about some villains. And so we're going to start with, we're bringing in a life villain here. A very good pairing. Broccoli guy. That's a Food Broccoli. Fight. Broccoli guy. And so this is Broccoli Guy. And so Broccoli Guy is a life mage. And so you'll see he casts a healing glyph, and then when you switch back to your Skylander, it'll actually heal you. And so you can imagine in co-op, one player having Broccoli Guy at the ready, another using a Trap Master, each of you healing one another. Very effective, very cool character to play as. Alright, so now we're going to switch over to the air one. And what we got here is Buzzer Beak. Buzzerbeak. <laughs> and so Buzzerbeak's a small little bird with a propeller hat, which you can see you can use to attack enemies and fly. Now one of the things you guys might be noticing in between Broccoli Guy and now Buzzerbeak, all of the villains have their own theme music now. Yeah. And so every single one of the villains, you know, which there's over 40 of, each have their own unique songs, which we'll play. And that actually ties in to the new mechanic that we have for the villains. And they're actually, they don't have uh, a life meter. They actually have a timer now. And so the reason that we're doing this is really to teach kids the interplay between playing as your Skylander and playing as your villain. So if you're you know, an adult gamer, you can see the L2 trigger. You instantly know, okay, I'm gonna switch back and forth, which you can do when they have enough time. So Troy right now can switch back. He can switch back you know, to Food Fight as well. And so it still is instantaneous, but during the other times when you've used them for a while, we can make them really strong, and then their life or their timer will expire. You then have to wait for them to recharge. And so kids get the experience of using them together as well. And so now we're going to show you one more. We're going to show the magic trap, which has my favorite villain, quite opposite from what we have with Broccoli Guy. Pay Yada. If you haven't seen Pena yet, he barfs candy. And so if you thought lava barf from a raptor was awesome, barfing candy is, is something special. And it'll actually dizzy enemies. Uh, and what's really cool is it'll also barf out smaller pinatas that if you hit with your, your lollipop will create a big confetti explosion, doing extra damage, taking out, you know, all the other villains around. Where are the two bars in the bottom? Like I see like the, the timer table. Like, what does it mean with one of yeah. the purple ones? Yeah. So the way that it works is that it's in two segments. And this is actually a new trap master here, which we'll show you in a second. That's a trap master. But so you'll see there's two segments, right? Yeah, yeah. So if the purple meter is any time point, this halfway section, you can switch to the character. But if it's uh, under the halfway, you have to wait for it to recharge. Okay. Correct. So we want to make sure that you're still able to switch back and forth between them, you know, quite rapidly. But at the same time, we also want to make sure that you know you're you're not just heavily leaning on a villain. You want to use them together with your skyline. And so in here we have a piece of Traptanium. And if you guys actually real quiet. You can hear that the reverberations of the crystal are actually coming out of the portal. And so this is something that you'll see throughout the environment that only trap masters can interact with. And so by attacking it, Troy's going to be able to destroy the Traptanium here and effectively blow out our speakers. There it is. Feel that? <laughs> the sweet bass. And those are what we'll find throughout the adventure that the trap masters can actually interact with. So up there was probably where we have like a soul gem or a legendary treasure. We've taken it out of the demo just because we don't want you know people getting all the goods. And so now we're gonna progress forward. Oh, I'm here away. What's that? So he can actually speed up by igniting like a spark in him, and it'll actually augment his attacks. So normally he'll just do if you press his uh, triangle attack, he'll just do a double fist slam down. But if you hit circle before it, then you hold triangle, he'll sweep the floor. And so he's all about utilizing that energy. And so here, you'll see we have to follow the arrows to actually like a faucet, turn the spigot to turn off the goo preventing us from progressing. 
And one of the things you may notice, uh, Pinata here, actually commenting along the way as we're going. So these guys won't just be talking when you're capturing and hearing the transfer of audio, you know, from the TV to the portal, but also when you're doing stuff. So here, if we interact with the puzzle, you'll hear another comment. Any idea how to solve this? My first reaction would be to barf candy at it. <laughs> Not the most successful way to solve a puzzle. Did rockets spin? Yes, so what we've done is we've actually completely updated the Lockmaster puzzle, but the little green goblin's back, but he has a jetpack, wow. which is awesome. But he's not very good at controlling it. And so you push it in any of the directions, and he has to fly until he hits collision. What's really cool is if you're playing in two players, there's actually two little goblins, each with their own collision, and you can actually bounce off one another to find your own solutions to puzzles. Oh, are you soaking? And so here, yeah, to get through the fire, you're going to need to soak them in water to be able to progress. One water lasts the whole thing. Yeah. Just for a, a single uh, room. And so now we can enter into the sewers and see what's going on. That's impossible. But well, not the outsider. We hadn't seen anyone since we locked ourselves away during the great germ outbreak centuries ago. But lately, all these mutant monsters showed up and naturally confirmed our suspicion that the outside world was destroyed. Wait a minute. You may be carrying germs. You're unclean. Ah! <laughs> and so Virgil's a little crazy. Uh, as you just heard with the knock from, oh, what's going on? Fine, I'm so sorry to interrupt, but I have air pressure oh, hey. on. Hey. 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 How are you? Thanks for uh, all your guys' support. It's great to have you here. Yeah, yeah. How, How are you? Oh, oh. oh. Awesome. 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 Are you enjoying it? Yeah. yeah. Well, you guys, you know, your support means everything to us, so let us know what you need. We'll have to get you all the access you want, and uh, keep playing. Let's nice that king in the spot. That was uh, that was a Ghostbusters 2 club. I don't know if anyone caught that. Oh, wow. Nice. I've worked with better, but not many. That was, that was Bill Murray to Vigo the Carpathian. It's <laughs> some real geek shit right there. <laughs> All right, so good to see you guys. Is Eon gonna show up? To you? <laughs> I was gonna say, who else do we have? Nice to have there. Alright. I thought it was a voice actor. Did you know? What? I thought it was a voice actor. He's like, I don't know who that guy is. So, that's just the, the boss's 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 boss. I thought the Karthik brothers were the top boss. Well, they're the developers. And so he's the CEO of Activision. Oh wow! Yeah, he's the boss. So he's the boss's boss, 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 oh, boss, boss man. Boss, boss. So now that the boss man is visited, we're going to continue and show you all these other, for lack of a seventies term, boss characters. And so we're going to progress forward. And now we're actually going to bring in once we cross this path a new villain here, an undead villain. You guys have seen him in the trailer. Wolfgang. Oh, the Undead rock and roll werewolf. <laughs> and so he has a harp guitar, which he can use to actually send out projectile notes. And then he can also do an 80s hair metal knee slide to take out enemies. Which is my favorite. <laughs> okay, I might have overreacted back there. Different somehow. In fact, there's something vaguely heroic about you. you might be a sky you haven't tried to steal our green goo like the other mutants. But you're probably still crawling with germs! Ah! Alright, so now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna pause the game. We're gonna head to the academy. Now, please pay no never mind to this. It's all in progress. There you go. There he is. Let's go, baby! Lou does the bad guy 30 second timer and pause and then cuts the transition scenes. Like yeah, no way. Yep. Yeah. So now what we're going to do is take you, this is the Skylanders Academy. This is the hub? This is the hub, yes. Wow. So when you start the game, for you just want to hold on here, pull back. When you start the game, it's my turn to talk. Oh, okay. So, when you start the game, 
what's really neat is that you actually just start with the central building in the courtyard, and then as you progress through, you actually earn and add more of these buildings. And so, you know, this is actually the final state of the hub. We're not going to show you all of it. There's tons of hidden areas, a lot of really cool secrets, but it's the biggest hub we've ever made for any of these games. And so we're going to walk forward a little bit. Oh, that's And so you'll see over here, if you just want to stop here, you might want to move so the sword's not about. He's got such a big sword. Yeah, it's huge. And so right here, this is actually the villain vault. And so this is where you'll go in between every level you know, if you want to switch out who you have equipped in your trap. And so what's really cool is that now when you defeat any of the villains that are trappable, if you don't have one of the traps at the ready, they'll go to the vault. And so, you know, once you, you know, say pick up a fire trap, you can then go to the vault and equip any of the fire characters that you've captured along the way. So it's obvious enough to like replay the, replay the mission. You don't, yeah. Yeah. Awesome. yeah. And so you can see over here, Persephone's back. She's got a pretty sweet tree house as well. And so she'll be handling the upgrades for your characters. We're going to head back up. We're actually going to head inside. And you'll see some of the uh, fun Toys for Bob touches. If you stand by the, the dice, it'll change to the element of your character. And so as we head inside, we're going to pass by a number of characters that you can talk to. There's a bunch of different areas, a bunch of different characters. We're going to go straight ahead and to the right, pass by Oric Manning his shop, and then we'll follow Callie up there. Let in her ever date finally? <laughs> the world may never know. <laughs> and so we're going to take you guys <laughs> into... Working <laughs> Avril. Working Avril. Yeah. yeah. And so now we're going to take you into the game room. And so this is actually one of my favorite spots. Wow. So you hear the, the score of the game, right, as you're going through. Now stand right there next to the player piano. And just hold on. If you want to walk back a little bit, it might be the outside is a little tough to hear it. But the actual the score is changed to the piano. You can kind of hear it. So it's the audio team at Toys R Us. Some of the best guys we've ever had are doing a lot of ton fun stuff throughout the game. You guys remember the jukebox from Giants? They're doing stuff like that all throughout the game. And this is just one of the smaller ones. It gives this game room kind of a fun little flair to it. And so now we're going to talk to Dreadbeard here. We are going to play a little bit of Skystone Smash. Brand new. Smash. It's a brand new Skystones. It's a new variant. And so the, the game itself, the start of which you're dealt three different stones. Chill Bill. And the objective is to get his health down to zero. And so what we want to do is watch out. So we have a three attack and four health. So if we place it there. Soul Sprout. They'll fight. We have enough of attack to take him out. We still have one heart left. Rock so now round two. <laughs> so let's go with Buzzer Beak. Let's play him up here. Buzzer Beak. And so you'll see, since we're unguarded, it'll take him down at eight. Wow. Those guys will have some mutually assured destruction. Shred not. And so that's a look at Sky Stone Smash. You can attack the cards when they're face down. Like from what happened. So the way it works is that there's, this is this is his playing field, okay. and this is our playing field. And so you play yours in any of these three spots, he'll play his, and so what you have to do is either guard your character, you know, your Skylander, or try and find an opening and get his health down to zero. A little bit of math involved. Yes. Oh, my favorite. <laughs> yeah. But it's pretty simple. So it's, it's you know, something we've, we've shown to a lot of kids. They're having a blast with it. What's really cool is that as you play through the game, if you trap villains or you know meet new guys to play Skystone Smash against or explore the environment, you're actually going to earn more and more Skystones. You can kind of cultivate your own deck of Skystone Smash cards. And so that's what we got for you guys today. All right. Do you have any um, questions? Uh, is, is the, if you have a trapped villain, why are you playing Skystone? Does that factor in at all to that? Uh, it doesn't change the no. It doesn't change the actual uh, combat in Skystone Smash. <laughs> Okay. Okay. Any villains can be in that trap at a time. I thought the tech what? one was the, the girl what? with the and so the tech ring. That's actually she's right here. A trap master, not a uh, oh, villain. Oh, oh, yeah. It was a trap master. Oh, wait, so what's the tech one over there? Yeah, yeah. They're both. Yeah, they're both. 
And they're both trimesters? They are. There's two of each element? Oh, I didn't know that. We haven't actually yeah. talked about numbers, but there is at least two of each element. Oh, snap. Yeah. Remember yeah. that? Yeah. Math thing is <laughs> <weird. laughs> That's true. Oh, my God. Yeah. Oh. So that's gear shift. That's Jawbreaker. we got Crip King, Wildfire, Wallop, Chopper, Detail. Food Fight, Snapshot. Pass them around. All right, all right. I thought they're pretty big. Like, no one's big as Giants. Yeah, dude. They're pretty big. Pretty big. Yeah, so they're, they're really close. Oh. But what's really cool for us is that, you know, I've probably said it to you guys before, but the team's just getting better at making toys. They are. And so you'll see, I mean, the one that kills me, Wallops. Wallops massive. You know, Wallop and his hammers. That's, you know, some of the beefiest toys. If you guys want to see some of the, the traps as well. Tree Rex has some competition, man. Yeah, right. He looks like the kind of statue. That's gorgeous, man. I want to like glow in the light, too. Oh, watch this presentation. I think I need a new TV. Yeah, right? <laughs> I know. I was like, well, this is Actually, I need, I need a room with a killer base. <laughs> I know. I need a TV house, too. Look at this game now. Yeah. It's crazy. Oh, yeah. I noticed the, uh, the audio on the sound. It's it's a lot. Go. Like, there's a lot going on. Just yeah. Yeah. Going on. Yeah. yeah. I mean, a lot of the, I mean, the audio is really key this year. I mean, especially with the portal and talking to you as you play through the game. But then also the stuff in the game. I mean, yeah. There's some really advanced techniques that the team's been. And there's some stuff that you need that kids will play and they won't recognize by just like the piano. Yeah. Right? Oh, yeah. Sure. But the ones that do, that's the yeah. kind of thing that's like, you gotta see this. This is so fun. It's like an Easter egg. Exactly. Yeah. I mean, that's that's one of those things that I, I think better than anyone. I mean, Toys for Bob is is really all about that fun, that kind of special whimsy that you get from exploring the environment. Yeah. Yeah. He's tiny. Did you? I think. The oh, well, I mean, we have actually we have a, a pretty good variety. I mean, if you look like snapshot height wise versus like yeah, like Jawbreaker is pretty short as well. And so they're they're really really varied, and it's really all about the. What's going on? Will the will the judges have the insignia on both sides? Is that just one cool? No, we're doing the one side. One side? Yeah. Let's get close to the stars. But there is no correct way to place it in the slot, so you can put it however you want. Thank you. So if you want the insignia facing you. Oh my god, they're so tiny. I know, yeah. I pictured him so much bigger from the box picture. Wow. Thank you very much. I love toys, man. It's Yeah. Do you guys are the others? That's the reason to be here. It's right! Yeah, I know. Seriously. Seriously. Yeah, the other stuff's just like, eh, it's... It's like, oh, Call of Duty. 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 Food fight. I love his hair, man. Great. Yeah. Always our friends. Artichoke who launches tomatoes. With the box of the city. Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah. Oh, what's one of those things? It's so stupid. Yeah, we always is a yeah, yeah, actually my favorite one. Yeah, it's for the kids. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you want kids to eat healthy, but they got to be fucking like that. It's real like oh, oh, yeah. 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 And so, like, like I said, so each year they're getting better and better wow, with the man. detail. The I can't believe there's more than one trap mess you know, with the actual, you know, <laughs> I thought it was only one and one. Plastics even. So, like, yeah. the stuff that we do with the crystals is much more advanced, you know, like technique that we've ever had in any of the toys. That's awesome. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Any other questions? 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 Uh, he's a, he comes with a starter pack too. Yeah. Yeah. 